what is good everyone it is your favorite multi cardboard selling producer and today i'm gonna be reacting to and breaking down the musical production of thunderous by stray kids i love stray kids i reacted to a good amount of music from them and i loved it all so i'm excited to listen to this one i'm gonna be breaking down the musical production side of the song because me i'm a music producer been doing this for a while and if you don't believe me here's one of my songs that just came out recently produced by me I'm gonna be breaking down the musical production side of things because I know that not a lot of you know much or anything at all about the musical side of things of your favorite music but no worries I got you okay I'm here to break that all down for you so you could connect with your favorite music artists and songs on a deeper more personal level okay let me take you to my screen get straight into it also i did make a remix to this song stray kids it's my favorite song by them and i got inspired to the point i took their vocals made my own rendition of the song i'm gonna leave a little thing up here and a link in the description so you can check it out after this reaction okay yeah let's go Dun, 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 dun. What you hear right there, some simple claps, okay? So every time you hear that, that is a clap. Super anthemic rhythm going on with the claps for this little intro. Dun, dun, dun. Just imagine an arena full of people clapping along with this. Everything's epic, okay? And an impact and a riser. An impact is that sound that goes like a riser is simply a reverse impact, okay? Whoosh. Establishing the setting, transitioning to a new setting, okay? And that dun dun, da da dun 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 that you hear is just a super simple brass melody, pretty sure, coming from a trumpet, okay? Creating a really nice cinematic epic intro. I'm loving this already. <laughs> One and I hear like a percussion in my left. Dun, 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 dun. Sounds like um like a toy gun being shot. You feel me? That's a percussion that you hear in your left. Okay, really nice. I love how they layer their sounds. It, this is oh my gosh, I'm excited. <laughs> Nice little sound effects right there. Used as a transition into Changbin. I love that little silence that they put before the verse began. It just leaves you with the feeling of because it made you think in the very beginning it was going to drop right away. No, they left that little pause right there to leave you like and then drop it. Boom. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. super simple flute melody in the background that's all that's going on right now instrument wise now drum wise like a super powerful little stomp doosh, doosh. and that little that you hear behind it that is a bass okay so a bass is being layered with the stomp to create that nice full boom oh Okay, so actually, there's three low-end frequency elements going on. Low-end frequency sounds are basically just sounds that give you that douche feeling. So kick, 808, bass. 808 is simply a form of a bass that you commonly hear in trap and rap and hip-hop. Now, in this case, they're using three. A kick, a stomp, like I mentioned before, and an 808. The kick is that deep douche, douche that you hear that stomp doosh, and that is only being played on every beginning of each pattern okay just adding some emphasis to the kick and the 808 which the 808 the bass is being layered with the kick not the stomp okay so all those three together create such a nice powerful punchy feeling nice impact i love this <laughs> The nice shaker in the back. Super simple bounce right here. Really allowing him to flow, have space to flow, to really spit how we're spitting. Because Mance is spitting right now. I'm excited to hear the rest of Hans part. Oh, and then it looks nice little hi hat roll right there. Every time you hear it with that specific type of sound that you heard, that is a hi hat roll, okay? 
Duk, 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 duk. That you hear, that is a two step hi hat pattern, okay? I like that dun dun, some nice little chords right there with the synthesizer to transition into this next section. Ooh, that, thung, that percussion from the beginning that I mentioned is back. I hear it on my left really nicely, allowing everything else to have room, have space to be present in the song. I love this. Oh, right here, this little section right here, just a nice little, brrr, nice little hi hat roll being played. The tuk 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 tuk, the two steps was taken out, and only the roll was left in. Creates a nice little bounce, adds some diversity. Key factor to keep songs interesting to keep the structure interesting is to remove elements every here and then either remove elements or add a new one that wasn't in the song before Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That percussion that I was talking about on the left, that's not a percussion. That is a snare, okay? That is a snare. Dung, do dong, dong, do dong, dong, okay? I like that. I said the riser right there. And that flute melody from before, that was put down an octave, okay? Going down an octave basically means going from here, right? To a lower tone, creating that deeper sound. Okay, so that's what happened with the flute on this part. Just switch up the sound, the pitch of the melody to keep it the same, right? Keep it familiar, keep the flow going. It creates a nice little switch of setting, you feel me? A nice little switch. Simple, but effective. Nice little snare roll right there. That, that was with the snare, okay? Because notice how it sounded differently than the hi-hat roll. The tushes that you usually hear, tu tush, tu tush, correct? Those were used on this little roll right here as a transition. A nice little bounce, a cool way to transition, okay? Oh my gosh, bro. That douche, that stomp, that is a stomp, that is a stomp, bro. I love how much power it adds to the beginning of every of every pattern. Incredible. Nice little brass hits right there. Dong 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 dong. Something like that. Just in between right there, going along with their shouts, with their yells. Dun, uh, dun, dun. As emphasis, as character. I love this. I love the production so much. <laughs> Those are horns. These ones, not brass, horns. Corrected myself. Little effects right there with uh, the car beeping in the background. Super subtle, lower down really low, but present enough for you to be able to hear it and feel it. Adds life, adds character. I love it. And that little sort of arcade-ish bell sound effect. <laughs> just being used as a transition into this pre-chorus i'm pretty sure this is the pre-chorus oh my gosh i'm excited i'm excited this is incredible Oh my gosh, hold on, before it drops. Okay, I gotta break this down, gotta break this down, okay? Doosh, around your ears. That was an impact, okay? Establishing this pre-chorus. Doosh, 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 that snare is back. It being used as a build-up. Ding, 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 ding. Some really ethnic strings are sounding really Middle Eastern. Oh my gosh, adding to this epic cinematic feeling. Oh my gosh. 
oh my gosh really nice vocal sample being used right there as a transition a vocal sample is simply someone singing into the microphone a specific phrase which a phrase is simply a certain type of sound melodic sound going on for for a few seconds not that long simply to be used as an accent to accentuate at energy transition so in this case perfectly being used as a transition into Bang Chan's part and adding life. Oh my gosh. And I hear some really nice keys being played in the background. Dong, dong, dong. Oh my gosh, this is so epic, bro. There's douche, douche that you hear now on the right. Some nice, subtle little impacts. Not as deep as the one from the beginning of the pre chorus, but just little douche, douche, douche to add life, add character, and get you hyped up. <laughs> Nice little transition with the clap, clap roll. Now that was a clap roll, okay? Super fast two-step high up pattern going on right there. That that you hear, that is a sub bass, okay? Okay, oh, whoa, 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 that was a lot going on. Hold on. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. I love this. Now, some super nice organic rock cinematic drums. That douche, douche, douche that you hear on your left, that is an open hat, super constant, super simple drum pattern. Douche, dung, douche, douche, dung. With the open hat on the left that I mentioned, it's a super simple drum pattern, which is allowing them to have space to be able to do what they're doing, have that opportunity to add their choreography because choreography predominantly goes well with instrument filled choruses. So in this case, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, dun, really allows them to, uh, dun, dun, uh, uh, dun, you feel me? Pet, pet, pet. Sorry, Yep, nope, those are some really nice epic horns in the background, bro. A nice snare roll with organic snares that you heard right there. The way they did that is in a triplet time rhythm. A triplet time rhythm is anything that sounds like tu, 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 because usually one, two, three, four with the metronome, correct? When it's in triplet form, it's in a different type of time rhythm. Still in the one, two, three, four, correct? But simply playing a, a little bit more, more swing. Tu, 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 tu. So how they did that? Producers just took the project, right? Sliced that touche part individually. Tu, and simply played it for Da, 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 da. X amount of times. Da, 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 da. Four times, okay? In that triplet form. I'm gonna put an example of how it would look like right here. That way you could see it a lot better and understand that way more because I know that what I just said probably made no sense to you and I completely understand, all right? But that's how they did that, okay? This is super fire, super simple, but it sounds so full because those horns are filling up your ears so well. Nice little riser. Ba -da -ba 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 
everything that you're hearing right now is just symbols some ethnic symbols this is sounding like some sort of ethnic marching band doosh, doosh. i hear symbols here percussions here there's just a lot of percussions organic marching band live band sounds going on okay <laughs> All that 808, that bass is being brought back right here with this part. I have a feeling this is going to be like a really vibey type of part. You feel me? Really gets you to listen, calms you down after the whole epicness that happened in the chorus. Ooh. Okay, so the jump pattern from the beginning of the song, the stomp, kick, 808, slash bass, same thing, okay? Is brought back with that two step higher pattern and shaker. So I already broke that down in the beginning. Let's keep listening. I already broke this part down as well. So let's keep listening, bro. This is so fire. Oh my gosh, oh my, this is so fun. This is so fire. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, bro. It's like the ethnic strings. I love hearing middle eastern japanese asian just instruments from around the world being used in music and it's it's incredible bro oh my god so bass is crazy I like how they held that pause on there a little bit longer than the first chorus. Oh my gosh. They keep surprising you with these anti-drops because instead of dropping, they make you wait a few more seconds and then it drops. They surprised me again because the first time they didn't hold it off for as long as this one. I love the way they arrange and structure their music. It's incredible, bro. It's incredible. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. nice little like bell cowbell i'm pretty sure yes yes that was a cowbell i'm pretty sure or sort of cowbell but that doo, 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 that you heard right there being used as a transition that sounded like a cowbell to me nice organic gives the gives a feeling of this of this village setting right here <laughs> A really nice organic bass guitar was brought in here. Nice bass guitar right there. Bringing back this organic sounding instrumental with the drum sounds now. Now the live band sounds that you hear. A nice two step higher pattern going on with the hi hat on the drum set. This is super fire. Nice kick going on from the drum set. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. Oh, that douche. Douche. Adding a lot of life, a lot of excitement, getting you hyped up, bro. Oh my gosh. That's a nice little percussion going on. Super aggressive going on on the left. Just nice little details, adding life, bringing the song more to life. I love this. Girl. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Nice drum fill right there. Tututu being used as a transition to this section. Now the live drums, drums from the chorus brought back, the live band drums. Wow. wow, shout out Felix. That's wow. That's a pretty man. He gets me every time, every single video. He just, Phew. but yes, the drums from the chorus were brought back, the live band drums for this part right here. I'm back. My man, Brings back the energy, picks up the pace because the verse before this was nice, sneaky, really puts you in the zone. Like mm, mm. now, here is the complete opposite. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the horns. I love the horns. Oh, yeah. I like I like what they did right here. Nice little switch up from the pre-courses in the rest of the song right here. They have these nice little claps right now. I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, the claps are gonna go like dun 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 dun, then progressively get faster and faster, giving you so much energy, so much hype for this final chorus. <laughs> I was wrong, but this was still fire. Nice. Oh my gosh, hold on, wait, it's still going. Incredible, incredible. I love those little effects, bro. When his hands caught on fire, you heard it perfectly. The flames, that sounded so dope. Oh my gosh. And of course, gotta put thunder in it. Song's literally called Thunderous. Stray Kids, Thunderous. What does that get from me? I love the production so much. It was so epic. It gave me that nice cinematic warrior type of feeling. I could tell this was more of a motivational type of song. You feel me? To play while you work out, go on a run, or when you just feel low, or you have a lot of people doubting you and what you want to do in life, you listen to this and it gives you power because it gave me power. <laughs> The production was incredible. Their songwriting, it's Stray Kids, come on. The structure, arrangement of everything, bro. The, the verses, pre-choruses, choruses, nice little switch-ups here and there, and the way they arranged it, which I know Bang Chun, Three Racham, predominantly, does a majority of it, and no wonder why it's so incredible. And lyrics, usual, incredible. Literally everything about this, I loved, okay? I love Stray Kids, and I'm excited to keep listening to them, and yeah. If I missed anything or if you have any questions about anything from the song, comment down below, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, Stray Kids Remix in the description. I know you love it. One of my favorite songs by them and I love making it, so I know you love it too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm going to see you in the next one, all right? Much love. Aizoki out.